Hello and welcome to What Are You Saying? Hashtag Ways, where we talk about topics in the news as it affects us all. I am Osayu Amesale, and today, Sunday and I are taking the show. <laughs> It's How are you like, doing, Sandy? I'm good. You look amazing. It's Aww. kind of like, go blonde or go home. Oh, really? <laughs> Thank you. And it's just interesting how lately, yesterday, we were wearing uh, red. red yeah. So you're just adding a lot more pop of color. And it's like I'm taking over with the black affair. <laughs> <laughs> and I must say, I really, really love your braids. It looks Thank really you. amazing. It's a wig. I know. <laughs> Oh my goodness. I like all the combination. Is this still the February month of love that's giving you the, I, the inspiration to keep, you know, popping some I think, red I there? Think, I think maybe because the, the red is just subconscious. Lately, red has been like attractive to me, you know. And even Mr. K was wearing like a bit. Yeah. Oh my goodness. And you guys were twinning. Oh, yes, we Sandy were twinning. almost <laughs> abandoned me to go <laughs> out with Mr. K. Okay, so here is what happened. I love Chima. If you follow me on Instagram, you would know that I love Chima Mandangozi Adichie. I adore her. So tonight, she happens to be hosting Lupita Nyong'o and Danai Guerrero. Remember her? Wakanda Forever, Chifokoye. So uh, both of them are obviously staring in um, lead characters in Americana, which has been officially announced by HBO that, you know, they'll start production pretty soon. So Mr. K was invited as a guest and I was like, Mr. K, please can I, I be wanted your to abandon day? only me. <laughs> I ah, love her. Sandy. No, but I love you, and it's the love I have for you that made me stay. <laughs> oh, but then, anyway, oh yeah. That, sorry, I'm I'm talking too much, isn't it? I just saw I told me it's her birthday today. Really? And I just love her. That's I just nice. saw is such a beautiful soul, a beautiful person. Um, each time you meet her, there's just so much warmth around, around her. her. She's godly. She's a good woman. And I tell you, Banky W, you find a, you found a good woman. You have mm. a good eye. That's so nice. happy birthday, Adesua. I happy love you. Happy birthday. That's we nice. love you. Oh, that's nice. I, and blessing. you're not the first person actually saying some really nice things about oh, her. Oh, she's so such a beautiful person. That she is, yeah. yeah All right, so is. here's what we found as today's quote. The evidence of human-made climate change is overwhelming. That's from James. What do you think? Hmm. It, it is overwhelming in the sense that it's, we're hurting ourselves and we're still looking for a solution. I'm like, we have a brain. Hmm. Think. These are like some of the floodings and eruptions that we are the ones who are excavating and requiring so much from the earth and without allowing it to, you know, re recoup. We're not planting trees. Remember, I think you were the one that sent that message no, it was about Uti. planting. She Uti, sent right. a very lovely piece. I read it you yeah. know, about spreading seeds, you know, to mm -hmm. just help to, to, to fight deforestation and all of that. Yeah. It, makes a, it makes absolute sense. Honestly, mm -hmm. uh, climate change, especially what we're experiencing now, some of them, I mean, most of them is actually man-made. So yes. we can actually just upgrade our lifestyle, change. Yes. Because nature, just like human being, human humans are made out of nature, out of dust and all that. So after a while, you need to rest. But we just ignore the fact that we think this is Earth. Earth will always get back there. Earth has been there for thousands and thousands of years. Yes, but it doesn't mean that you should keep exploring and not give it time to like recover. Mm. We are, we're a bit too selfish when it comes to, you know, the climate and the society. And I think eventually Earth is going to say, you know what, I'm, I'm done. I'm coming back. And yeah. nature, once it takes its You course, can't, like, how do you plan you to can't fight stop, it? You how? Can't fight nature. You can't. All right, so today we are focusing on climate change. Is it a reality or a myth? And how does it impact our everyday lives? Now, we have two experts with us, but first we'll go, quick, take a quick break. When we return, we'll see what we found in the news. Please stay with us. <laughs> 